All right, in this video, I'm gonna to try to show you one way of doing a user bob uh, hit for a mobile website. Um, the way I'm doing it in this video is I've already accepted the hit on my computer and I'm gonna be recording my Android uh, phone. So we've accepted the hit. The uh, first thing to do is clicking on the link that says click here to get started and follow instructions carefully. So we've done that. And the screen that comes up has two boxes, one that says tap here on your mobile device and one that says click on, on your computer. So I wanna get this page onto my phone. Uh, this'll let me where I can have the instructions displayed on the computer while I'm actually doing the test on the phone. And so I'm using a app called Push Bullet on my phone and there's a Chrome extension uh, that I've already installed called Push Bullet as well. And the two communicate so that I can send URLs back and forth or files back and forth. And it, uh, I think it would probably come in handy for any kind of hit that it, has to do with doing something on your phone. So the first thing that we're gonna do is click on the push bullet extension and it will bring up and it'll pre-populate with the URL here and we're just clicking to send it to the phone. And when we do that on the phone, we'll get a message or notification and battery power those. Hopefully we can get through this. But now the same screen that was on the computer is now also on the phone. And the first button at the top says tap here on the mobile device to open the site. So we'll do that. And now this is the website that we're supposed to review. And back on the computer, I can click on the button that says click here to display the instructions. So I have the instructions displayed on the computer with the app here and now we just need to start recording and I'm going to be using a app on the phone called AZ screen recorder and the icon looks like that and so we're just going to tap there and it brings up its menu in the very center of the screen and we're going to I don't know what I tap on we're going to tap on the recording and it started to record I'm going back to Chrome and now it's recording the browser screen that I'm supposed to be talking about. So I can read the instructions that say read out loud. Pretend that after doing a Google search, you clicked on the first result and the following website was displayed. And then I start the timer with the instructions. So now on my computer, I have the instructions of what I'm supposed to be doing. And I don't have to keep switching back and forth between apps on the phone. I can just look at the computer when I need to. And the timer is up there as well. So I would talk about this website for a minute. And when I was done, I to stop recording, I can just swipe down. The AZ screen recorder has uh, recording controls that say pause, stop, draw. So I'm just gonna stop. And now there's a message up top saying that the file is there. Um, so now at this point, I could either take the file and use push bullet or some other way to send it back to the computer and upload it there. Or if I just go back from the, uh, on the mobile device on the browser, I get back to a screen where we started on, um, I can close AZ screen recorder. And down here at the bottom, there's number six, upload file. So I can just click on that. And now I get the dialogue place where I need to upload the file. So I just click on choose file. I know the files in my documents and it is that I'm already in the AZ recorder folder and so I can just click on that. File gets listed and I click Upload Review. And it's uploading directly from my phone to the UserBob website. And 
that is done. I have my uh, completion code. I can um, copy that from here and use push bullet to send it back to my uh, computer. So I should just be able to paste the completion code here. Okay. It didn't get the whole thing, but you get the idea that I can send that. And then back in push bullet, I would see in the devices the message there in which I can copy that and go back to Mechanical Turk and paste the code there. So that's the basic one way of doing it. Um, if you have a way that you think is faster that would help everybody out, please let me know. Thank you very much.